Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we will be filming outside. I hope that the audio isn't affected because it is a bit windy today and obviously we're exposed to the noise from the road. Um, but it is such a lovely day and um, it's a bit later in the day so the lighting isn't so good inside. So I decided to come outside and film this review. So today we are going to be taking a look at Hot Looks Elky. Mm, seeing all the Hot Looks models? Seconds away from the big fashion show. The world awaiting all the answers, like what looks best for satin and lace. Me, for starters. Can mixing and matching change your life? I'll say. And what goes with that playful outfit? Ooh, playful hair. Are we hot or what? And now the Hot Looks. Those fabulous Hot Looks models, each sold separately, new from Mattel. To model is her dream, fashion is her scene. Oh, a Hot Looks model, so trendy and tall. Oh, color, style, hair that's so wild. Hot Looks, she knows that she's hot. Oh, fashion is her passion, she loves to mix and match them. You can just imagine how much fun it is to have a Hot Looks and know what you got. So Hot Looks was a doll line that was short-lived in the late 80s. So this doll is copyrighted 1986 Mattel. Um, doll and costume made in China, accessories made in Hong Kong. Um, so yeah, this doll line was around for about two years. I believe the second release was only available in Canada because it didn't do so well the first time around. Um, so the idea behind these dolls was to kind of educate children on fashion. So what kind of colours went with um, certain uh, hair colours and skin tones, eye colours and things like that. So uh, I believe Elki is a super cool doll. So little blue thing kind of stating that cooler colors um, paler shades and things are better for her um, coloring so these dolls have plush bodies with wire inside which allows them to bend and pose and things like that kitty so the box has this kind of mottled white and black kind of almost animal print like pattern around the edge and it has this hot look sticker on the front there it says hot fashion models fully posable for ages over five product number 3702 um, it says Elkie doll um, I love to mix and match fashions Mattel logo then on the back I won't read it all out but you can read it if you'd like there's a lovely photograph there of Elkie. So there's some images of the fashions that they think would um, suit this doll. And there's some of the other dolls there. I've seen a picture of my eldest sister getting this doll for Christmas. But I actually remember playing with this doll growing up. So I'm not sure if my other sister had this doll or maybe we just got it from the op shop or something but I definitely had this doll growing up and I remember her quite vividly. The box here has a plastic handle which is the kind of handle that you'd find on Barbie cases. So you just open that and then inside we'll just slip her out. Oh god. So there she is. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So she's kind of on this cardboard backing which is completely covered with this window which you can just pop off like that. And there she is. On the card. 
And she also comes with this cardboard stand that you can fold up and put together. We'll get to that later. So she is secured with some elastic and basically just elastic and some plastic, um, I don't even know what you call these, plastic, um, strap things. So we'll just undo those first. Get those out of the way. Bugs! Oh my gosh! So she comes with these kind of clear, uh, I mean translucent pink glittery um, dangle earrings which hook onto her permanent white studs which I'll give you a close up of. So I remember the one that I played with as a kid didn't have these, I didn't realise that she was even supposed to have these. Um, they are a bit um, kind of bent so they don't stay on very well. She also came with this little camera um, kind of, I don't know what you'd call it, a little trinket or something that just hooks onto a belt like that. She also came with this neon pink um, hairbrush. Now talking of hair, this doll came straight out of the box with some missing plugs. So um, that's a bit annoying. I've found that a lot of my 80s and 90s dolls have come out of their boxes with missing plugs, which means that the hair just falls out because it's not held in properly. She also came with a little kind of um, chunky bracelet um, bangle which has this kind of diamondy look to it. I'm not sure if you can make that out, but anyway. She has these little plastic um, sneakers, I guess you'd call them, um, and they're laced with this um, metallic pink um, lacing there. They are a bit sticky. So there is the five dolls that were released. Now in the commercial, the there are a few commercials and I feel like in each one different dolls are said to be available. So I think they didn't release them all at the same time. They kind of gradually released them. And then we have some of the other fashions and various information. So yeah, um, she comes with this little cap with a little jewel sewn onto the side which I think is really cute and she comes with this very kind of shiny synthetic um, pastel like overshirt I guess you'd call it kind of just drapes down I think that's really cool I love that um, very my style. I love large overshirts. She has this belt, which I think is an actual working belt, so you have to like undo it. And it's this very like opalescent fabric, which they've used for multiple dolls over the years. It's like crystal Barbie type fabric. And then the buckle is like a, this very holographic kind of pink. It's hard, it's a semi-hard plastic. Yep. Then she has this yellow top with sparkly star, um, stars printed on it. And she has some pink tights and blue ribbed socks. Her yellow top closes in the back with a white plastic snap there. And then underneath she is wearing a sewn on, well it's actually part of her body pretty much. It's a little sort of satiny pink um, underwear set and it has a little ribbon detail that goes around the back there. Um, that's sewn on so basically that doesn't come off. She has a little tag, all new materials consisting of 
polyurethane foam and polyester fiber surface washable only and then on the other side of the tag copyright Mattel Inc 1986 made in China okay so yeah so she has stitching all around and it goes down there's various seams in other places so Elki has dark blonde hair and bright blue eyes pink lips she has blush on um, her cheeks and also on her nose which is quite unusual she has these very kind of bushy eyebrows so her body is completely poseable I think she can even yep she can even bend at the waist bend her legs so there's wire inside that allows you to bend she her head is connected in this very odd way I'm not sure if you can make it out but um sort of has like a hard plastic inner inside to the neck and then there's a little kind of um I guess you'd say neck knob and the head's just kind of snapped onto there so she can twist her head around and then there's a little close-up of her feet for you they're a bit funny looking but like these dolls like well, you have them dressed and they don't really look that bad but seriously the faces are beautiful I wish they made these into like Barbie style dolls I do remember them being a lot smaller I think like I remember them being like that tall but it's actually that much taller than I remember But yeah, I think that they should make these into like a Barbie sized um, line. That would be amazing, I think. I'm just going to quickly show you how to assemble her stand and we'll show you what that looks like. So it says fold bottle, bottom panel A, which is this part here, forward. Fold bottom tabs B and C forward. So that would be those on either side there. that's step one fold side panels D and E forward so that's these bits on either side here fold insert tabs F and G into bottom slots B and C so these here and then you'll fold those into bit tight there we go that's good that it's tight and then it says lift cut out H from back panel oh um, fold under and insert tab back into slot I feel like that goes back there and that goes into yeah that correct place those feet firmly on stand base and snap dolls waist into back okay so I feel like it's supposed to go and then we have it so that's her on her doll stand it's crazy it would have been cooler if they actually used the packaging as the doll stand rather than including it as a separate piece of cardboard that way you know you're wasting less resources but um i still love this i've kind of just kept her in her little overshirt with the belt that is elky in all her hot looks goodness i hope you enjoyed this review and i'll see you all next time bye bye